Okay, so I'm Mark Dytham, and along with Astrid Klein, who's just sitting uh, across the way from me, um, we run Klein Dytham Architecture here in Tokyo. Um, we're architects, uh, that's our day job, and we run Pachacha Pachacha Night in the evenings. And I just show a couple of our projects to put uh, our work in context. Uh, that was Ginza Place, um, a multi uh, use project in the middle of Tokyo, on the most important cr crossroads of Tokyo. And this is a wedding chapel in uh, Japan. Um, it's designed like a wedding veil. So when the groom kisses the bride, he picks up the veil and then this veil swings open. It's perforated with 4,600 holes. 20 seconds goes quicker. So we ran this art space in Tokyo called Super Deluxe. And um, when we kicked this space off, we didn't have enough events. And uh, it was the dawn of digital photography and keynote on the Mac. So we thought to fill some of those des nights, why don't we uh, start a show and tell format? And uh, you know what architects are like, they talk too much. We wanted to see what other people were doing in town. But if you get one architect out there with a microphone, they'll talk about a handrail de detail forever. So we came up with this very simple idea of only showing 20 images for 20 seconds each, no forward or back, and that really made sure the presenters uh, were on time. And uh, there's a little bit of chit chat as we'll do between these presentations. And Pachacha Night was born. Um, pachacha means chit chat in Japanese, it's an onomatopoeia. Pachacha, 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 so the sound of chit 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 chat. And um, yeah, we had a one-off event. Uh, immediately people saying, when are you having the next one? We'd like to uh, sh show our work too. And um, it spread from a one-off event to an amazing 1,227 cities today uh, around the world. It's really an incredible uh, move, creative movement that we've uh, built, almost by mistake. We don't promote this. Um, one city sees it happening in the next city and it gets passed on. So it's completely vi viral and we don't charge for the format. It's free and I think that's really how it's spread around the world. Um, when we were in about 600 cities, there was the uh, earth, um, awful earthquake in Haiti, and uh, we sort of got together and wondered what we could do as a group. And uh, we're in touch with Cameron Sinclair, who will be speaking tonight. And we crazily had this one event, a global event that ran around the world and raised $100,000 uh, for Architecture for Humanity and built, along with Ben Stiller Foundation and Cameron, a school in Haiti. Um, a year later, the, um, the, the, the shoe was on the other foot and we had the earthquake and tsunami in Japan. And here you can see that over 130,000 buildings were destroyed by the tsunami very quickly in the first 20 minutes. Really shocking. And I don't think people really do understand the scale of the, 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 the disaster still. We ran another um, Inspire, or we started this notion of Inspire. Japan's inspired the world with its design and we wanted the world to inspire Japan back. And we set up Inspire Japan campaign and we had another global event. Uh, and we just put a logo out and then people make these amazing posters. The creativity that comes out of our community is really amazing. We, we, we don't stamp the same, well, we stamp the same logo in the bottom, but we want people to show their, their regional cre creativity or their own artistic creativity. We had 105 events around the world one month after uh, the earthquake and tsunami. And uh, we raised another $100,000 for Architecture for Humanity. And along with Toyo Ito's Home for All um, pro pro project, and Nike, this sports center was a uh, bit built uh, for the children of Kesanuma. And so um, it's been a really uh, inspiring project. And I think we, we kind of end up being the last, Cameron always said that we're kind of the last responders. We still keep uh, recording uh, presentations about what's what's going on in, in this area. And if you go to our um, Inspire Japan page on our website, we have hundreds of presentations uh, about what just happened after the earthquake and tsunami or what's going on today, 10 years on. And so uh, we're really building this amazing archive. Um, and some of those presentations, uh, they might be about the temporary housing, the presentation on, on, on the left, um, somebody describing what it's like to live there. And then on the other side, uh, Safecast. And at Asby, we're talking about Safecast and their project uh, a little bit later. So it's really developing, it's really developed into an amazing archive. And then actually only, only a few, few weeks after the big earthquake in Tokyo, there was a huge uh, uh, magnitude seven earthquake in Christchurch. And Christchurch is one of our really strong protractors cities and we, we started an inspired campaign for them and again you can go to the website and see all the amazing presentations that are made about the positivity and creativity that's come out of this very difficult situation in Christchurch. And the projects um, expanded. Uh, we've uh, now run projects for Kumamoto, where they've had two major earthquakes, and Kumamoto Castle has been destroyed, which is a real uh, ter ter terrible disaster in, in itself. And we've run projects for Nepal as, as well. 
So as we came into, into this, this moment's event, as COVID started going off, we wondered what Prachacha could do. Uh, so we started making small presentations like this fantastic one by Brian here about how, how to wash your hands and it shows the history of soap and things like that. Um, but then we thought, how could we actually get, get in di deeper? And so we've been running these. We ran an event last week in the UK and getting people, creative people, people who are making a difference uh, at, at, at the moment through creativity to present their work and hopefully inspire other people to do the same or to do more. So, um, yeah, it's uh, so this is our second event and uh, we're really excited about that and excited to hear what everybody's got to say. So last week's event was uh, in the UK and it was run by Kylie, uh, so, sorry, by, by Brogan and Kyle uh, of Pachacha, London and Pachacha, Manchester. And it was called United for the United Kingdom. And here it is on someone's t TV streaming out on U U YouTube. They timed the beer break perfectly for eight o'clock. So we all clapped for the National Health Service for the fr frontline workers there. The great thing is on our Pachacha website, we've been developing, before COVID even started, we've been developing this uh, new platform for, called Pachacha Create. And many of the presentations tonight have been submitted through this uh, format, where you're online through your browser on a, a computer, laptop, or, or, or smartphone. You can upload 20 images, voice them, and share them. And uh, so we encourage people to make presentations on Pachacha Create. It's free, it's great for schools, and just go across to our website and hit the Create tab. So. Thank you all very, very much, and um, we hope you help inspire the world either by watching the, uh, the presenters tonight or by making uh, presentations on our Create uh, pl platform. Thank you all very much. <laughs> Great job, Mark.